probably have 250 plus typewriters in my collection, and I would say that 90% of them are in perfect working order. Hi, I'm Stu, and welcome back to another LumaFusion video tutorial featuring the Hanks app. Even though we always had a computer in the house, whether that be an Apple Mac or a PC, I've always had a fascination with manual typewriters. When I was younger, we used to pick up my grandmother from her work on a Friday afternoon, and I always went in and played with her typewriter. Years later, my sister took what they used to call secretarial studies and she had to get a typewriter for that to learn to touch type and I used to steal her typewriter when she wasn't using it and type out things for myself. Fast forward to 2014 and the award winning actor Tom Hanks brought out his own typewriting app called Hanks. It gives you a nostalgic feel for using a manual typewriter. I can't believe that I've had the Hanks app on my iPad for seven years now, but it's always kind of been there and I've used it as and when required, mainly for writing letters. And I love it. Why am I telling you all this? Well, recently Casey Neistat's brother, Van Neistat, who is a filmmaker in his own right, has started a YouTube channel and his titles are made using an old-fashioned Corona manual typewriter. And this got me thinking, can I hack the Hanks typewriting app so that I've got a similar effect to the Spirited Man series without directly copying what Van does. The App Store has its fair share of typewriter effect apps, some of which cost, some of which are free. And the likes of Mojo have it built in as well, which could be useful. But the thing is, it's just not the same as an actual manual typewriter effect. So let me show you. The Hanks app is quite quirky and the first thing you're going to do is tap the E on the top right and then center your text. You're then going to go over and switch off the actual typewriting animation. If you haven't blinked, you'll note I've changed the typewriter model. This is because I bought the full pack a number of years ago and I own all the typewriters within the Hanks app. But you can just stick with the black default typewriter. I just happen to like the actual type effect that this typewriter, the 707, gives me. All you have to do after that is type your title. Whilst not forgetting to actually record the screen at the same time. Once you've screen recorded your type effect in Hanks, I want you to head over to my coffee page, which is coffee, and that's ko-fi.com forward slash I am Stu Little. Then go to the posts, scroll down, and you'll see this post here that says Off-White Retro Typewriter Effects Matte. Tap on it, and then tap the high res download option. This is completely free for everybody, so you tap on that. It'll then take you to the Ko-Fi storage, and you'll see it's an off-white and there's a sort of lighter white box in the middle. Just press and hold anywhere on the screen and then tap add to photos. And this will then put the required graphic that you need, the mat, into your photos. And you'll now see what was a light white is now a dark grey hole. And that's because we're going to use this as an overlay to isolate just the type. Now that I've got my screen recording in LumaFusion. What we want to do is just trim things up a little bit. So let's just play around with that. It's starting around a bit there. So I'll just Command B, get rid of the front end, and then just trim up the gaps between the text, just so that it runs a tiny little bit smoother. But you don't want it too smooth because you want that kind of manual typing effect. Otherwise, you might as well just use one of the apps I talked about earlier on. I'm going to take away some of the gaps. And just trim them up. So Command B, and then we'll just take some of the space off the end. Zoom back out. Play it through. And 
that's looking pretty good. Now the beauty of doing a manual typewriter effect over one of the more automated apps that you can download that we talked about is that it's recording your pace of typing. So if you're a fast touch typist, then that's going to be reflected in how you're actually typing. So it's kind of the writer's equivalent of a tripod for a photographer. Tripod slows a photographer down. It makes you think more and be a little bit more decisive in your choices when making an image. In the same way, because typewriter is ink going onto paper, you've kind of really got to know what you want to type. And if you do make a mistake, you're going to be use, using lots of whiteout and things like that. We want the overall effect. And the sound and it's like that. So that's pretty good, I'm quite happy with that. Now at this stage, if you wanted to, you could export this video clip and bring it back in as a completed segment. In fact, we will just do that right now. And then I'm going to select all of the original clips, delete them and pull down my completed clip. it's looking good. So what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to push this segment of video up into the next timeline section. I'm then going to go back to my files. Yeah, that'll do. And then we've got my Welsh slate background. Trim it up, get rid of that. If we go into our frame and fit, press one on the keyboard. And what we want to do is switch over to cropping, go from the top and pull it down. Just to get rid of that text, then I'm going to press number 5 on the keyboard and that takes us over to colour and effects. We're going to go to the key icon, we tap on Dark Luma, that makes the background all but disappear and we can play with that a little bit. And the only thing about doing that is you lose a tiny tiny bit in the middle but I'll show you how to sort that in a second or two and then we come back out and here's the typewriter effect. So to sort that bit in the middle, what we do is duplicate the clip, Command D, go back to our original chroma key version, back into colour and effects, get rid of the chroma key, then we're going to do some cropping, back into number one, which is size and position, go to our cropping, and then crop down till you get just about everything disappearing, come in from the right, come in from the left, you're literally just working with that typewriter segment in the middle, there you have it. Remember the mat I got you to download from my coffee page? Well, it should be in your photos app and all you need to do is just click and drag it onto the timeline and then expand it out to the duration of your video. What we've got now is a piece of black text isolated on white. Then what you want to do from here is export that out. If you're quite happy with the black type on the white background, then all you've got to do is pretty much leave it as it is, use it as you would any other title graphic. In terms of moving it up, then you might want to go into your preferences here and alter the background colour to something that's more appropriate so that it blends in. The final thing we're going to do is highlight the white background with the black text. We're then going to go into colour and effects, tap on invert, and there we have a black background with white text. Let's come back out. That's looking pretty good. And then just back into size and position, go to our blending and change the blend mode to screen. And then we can go back to size and position once again. Just play with the position. And that's us pretty much done. And there we have a traditional retro typewriter effect with the pacing of a manual typewriter. Easy as that. Hope you've enjoyed this video tutorial. If you have, remember to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed, if of course I have an Android subscription today. And I will catch you on the next video tutorial. Bye!